What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash today, I effed up. Let's get into it. Today, I effed up by wearing a butt plug to the airport. <laughs> oh, this should be a good one. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, this literally happened this morning, and I am mortified. Last week, I booked a flight to see my boyfriend, who lives three hours away. I don't drive at the moment, so I decided to take a flight, as it's only 40 minutes or so, and it was only 15 bucks. We haven't seen each other for three months because of the COVID, and so we were both very excited. Now, to spice things up a little, I decided to wear a little lingerie under my regular clothes, as he lives only 10 minutes away from the airport, and I thought I could surprise him straight away. I also decided to spice things up a little and wear a butt plug, not even thinking about it. So I put it in right before leaving the airport. I'm going to spare you the details, but it's a small one, so easy to go along your day with. Now, I get to the airport and while I'm going through security, the thing beeps, which isn't a surprise to me since I'm wearing light jewelry, so I didn't think much of it. The woman tells me to step aside and she's just checking my pockets, etc. I take off all my jewelry and try again, but the thing is still beeping. And now I'm only wearing sweatpants, a hoodie, and lingerie with no extra details. So I'm standing there when the woman tells me to go on to an inspection into one of those machine x-ray type things, when to my horror, I remember I'm wearing a butt plug with a huge jewel, which I completely forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at this stage, I am mortified and tell the woman what's going on. Luckily, she just laughed it off and let me go. I have never been this embarrassed. Edit for everyone asking how I could have forgotten it's there. It's not that I forgot that it was there or I didn't feel it was still there. I just got used to the feeling and my mind wasn't on that when I was entering the security. <laughs> That's got to be so embarrassing. Like, I already knew where that was going. Uh, just imagine standing in the scanner, hands up, and it spins around you, and beep, 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 it dings up, and you have a butt plug in. <laughs> like, ah, uh, how do you explain that? Like, ah, uh, I guess you just come out with it like she did and go, oh, here's what's happening. I have a butt plug in, and hopefully they trust you and don't make you take it out in front of them. But geez, that surprise went horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine, dude. All right, our second story is today I effed up by exploding a mouse down my throat. <laughs> what? Uh, a couple of things worth knowing before we continue. My partner is a farmer and we get up at 4 a.m. every morning. We also live in an old wood house up a mountain. Okay, so this happened to me this morning. We woke up as usual and went to put on the coffee machine, which we set up the night before because 4 a.m. is a ridiculous time to try and do anything. While the coffee was brewing, I absentmindedly began to clear the sink from the night before. We were pretty lazy at night, so all the dishes, etc. just get soaked. So, in my 4 a.m. haze, I'm fishing about in the sink trying to clear out the rice from yesterday's meal so the water will go down. I grab what I assume to be a tea bag and go out to put it in the bin. But of course, before I can do that, I have to squeeze the lid out as I don't want crappy water in the bottom of the bin. Here's the messed up part in case you didn't see it coming. The tea bag is a dead mouse that is drowned overnight and became waterlogged and swollen. I squeeze the mouse and it explodes, covering my face with its awful pink water slash viscera. Viscera. No idea why my mouth was open at the time, apart from it was 4 a.m. and I was probably mouth breathing and half asleep still. It tastes like pennies and sadness. I may never be the same again. Edit. Thanks to everyone contacting me to tell me to seek medical advice. I have and have a follow-up appointment next week. I'm glad my screw-up could turn so many stomachs. Oh, yeah, this one is disgusting. Like, you said it tastes like copper, 
but I'm imagining something much worse. Like, oh, just turn the light on, dude. And none of this would have happened. Just turn the light on. Oh. All right. Our third story is titled today. I effed up by revealing the gender before a gender reveal party. Today, I went to my local bakery slash cafe to get cupcakes with my kids. You can sit inside. We got our food and sat down to eat. In this bakery, they decorate most of their products in the open. I noticed they were adding question marks to a big white cake. I asked the bakers if they were decorating a gender reveal cake. They told me that they were. I asked what the gender was. They told me it was a little girl, so they put pink frosting on the inside. I was also told that the mother was coming soon to pick up the cake. About 25 minutes later, my children and I left the bakery and started walking our car towards our car when I noticed a very pregnant woman heading towards the bakery. Realizing that the cake was for her, I said, oh, you're the one having the little girl. Congratulations. She looked surprised, but at the moment, I didn't think much about it. I got into the car and drove home. We were halfway home before I realized I might have ruined the surprise. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a big mess up there, bud. I mean, I guess since it wasn't malicious, we can let it slide. But man, you definitely just ruined a big deal for that lady and her husband and rest of the family. Like, ah, oh, I know it's just a slip of the tongue, but uh, you're that person that nobody can tell their secrets to because you tell them without even realizing it. Oh, our fourth and final story is titled today I effed up by letting my dad help me move as have many of us I've been living at my parents house for the last few months I'm a 29 year old woman and luckily the reacclimatization into the family bosom was helped by the fact that they have a granny and exe I don't know if I pronounce that right that is usually let out on Airbnb but opening rules are opening rules and my fam were very keen to get their Airbnb cash flow going again, so out I go back to normality. I was in between houses anyway, so I've got most of my stuff with me in the studio apartment, so I'm traveling with things I wouldn't normally travel with. My dad offered to help me move, and mostly I'm just shoving my belongings into Ikea and duffel bags to unpack in the new place. He's always been very respectful of my space, always knocks and waits to be invited in and gives warning when he's coming up the stairs. I've always thought it was sweet, but a little over the top. I'm not a teenage boy, if you know what I mean. But, well, maybe he was on autopilot helping carry things. Just 15 minutes ago, he sees me packing a hairdryer and says, I think that belongs here. And taking it from my hand, he walks over to the dresser. I can see what's happening in slow motion and I call out across the room, the right hand drawer, dad, the right one. But no, he pulls open the left hand drawer where the hair dryer usually lives. But in the last three months, my underwear and my pocket size vibrator have been sitting. He's cool. He pretends he didn't see anything, closes the drawer, puts the hair dryer into one and moves on. Mom had brought over a basket for the bedding to go into. So he starts stripping the pillowcases. He then sees the corner of a cardboard box sticking out from under the bed. Again, autopilot, surely. For some unbeknownst reason, he decides to lean down and start pulling it out. This time I shouted, Dad, stop, I'm horrified. He pulls it halfway out before his brain registers what I'm saying and his eyes register part of what he's seen. He pulled it out just far enough to see a bottle of lube. At this point, I shove a full basket into his hands, saying, thanks, I'll do the rest on my own. And he leaves. We both pretend he saw nothing. <laughs> I'm dying. The only, only consultation here is that if it had come out any further, he'd have seen a bright pink rampant rabbit. I can never go home again. <laughs> Oh, that's just sheer straight up embarrassment. At least he was nice and just played it off like he didn't see anything and saved you the embarrassment. But you and him both know he saw what he saw and now you have to deal with that. <laughs> uh, it kind of reminds me of a story. Now, mine's not 
it's similar, but not as bad as this. But my parents were helping me clean my room when I was like 12. And under my bed, I had hid a thing of matches because for some reason, I thought it was cool to have matches. I didn't smoke or anything, but I just had matches. And so we go to move my bed and we take the mattress off because I'm moving it to a different part of my room. And I look down and I'm like, oh my God, the matches are there because they had been there for months and I had just forgotten about it. And I grab them as fast as I can. And as I'm grabbing them, I see my dad look and he's like, what was that? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I, like, I think it was just something on there and I just swiped it and he let it slide. And to this day, I don't know if he saw his matches and if he did what he thought, but I'm saying I got away with it successfully. <laughs> Guys, share any stories that you have that are like that where your parents found something you really didn't want them to find and drop them in the comments down below because uh, they're entertaining stories. All right, guys, that's it for the hot post from r slash today I effed up. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.